Hello everybody, welcome back to the Chewy Clan. This is Twin Tail back and today's gonna be a bit of a different video. It's gonna be more of a slightly informative advice type of video sort of deal. So I've seen people say things like, hey, everyone getting a cosplay, but it looks pretty expensive, it looks unnecessarily daunting. I don't know if I feel comfortable with the idea of having just one combination of a cosplay wig and one outfit and then calling it a day. I totally get it just like with fashion in general. Cosplay can indeed get very expensive. But we could find a way to stretch that dollar a tag more. So why don't we go ahead and let's get into it. So a very easy thing to really stretch your dollar is for any IP that uses school uniforms or military uniforms. In some cases, idol slash other music tie-in franchises that use the same outfit because with those, you can transfer them from character to character as long as you just simply switch wigs and what have you out to fit that character more properly. So school uniforms and military uniforms being the easiest to go about there. So that is one way of doing it. Another way that I have found that I will do every now and again is, hey, maybe you see an outfit that a character wears, maybe it's their casual outfit. And you go, you know what? I don't mind wearing something like that, you know, either the whole thing or parts of it for another outfit you wear casually. That's perfectly fine. You know, a very good example that I've seen running around is none other than and Sora's No Game No Life I Love Imanagi t-shirt. It represents the character. It's A-OK -okay to wear. You have to take your daughter across both cosplay and what you wear out in the streets. Cool, cool. Another way is, hey, maybe you notice that two or more characters that you are looking at cosplay as. Because, you know, let's stay, let's face it. When we do cosplay, we're not going to do just one character, right? But it could help that we just don't have a giant drawer or cabinet or other container just full of 30 plus wigs that is going to lose track of in due time. So why don't we instead maybe figure out if two characters look similar enough and we can use that same wig across all those characters. Very simple examples would be long black hair. Long black hair Goes a very long way in anime, video games, and so on. Trust me, you'll be able to find at least four-ish characters. Sure, maybe you can like style bang slightly differently here and there, but you should be able to figure out a way where we can kind of like park things out accordingly and take advantage of clips and so on to replicate the look you're looking for. So, other quick tips that we can do to keep cosplay costs down is sometimes you don't have to get from, you know, a dedicated cosplay seller or get commissioned by a craftist, but sometimes you just end up assembling stuff right at a thrift store or a, you know, or a discount fashion store. You'd be surprised at what you could end up finding by sheer accident. Like, a very good example is I've cosplaying as multiple characters that wear a trench coat at some point, a black trench coat. So we can find a black trench coat at none other than Goodwill. So I'll be able to take that for quite some time to come as a result. So that is going to do it for me for these quick tips on how to just really stretch your doorway when it comes to the cosplay hobby and how it could also possibly permeate into other parts of your life or what have you. So hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any other good tips to stretch your door when it comes to cosplay, you know, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Hello, I look forward to reading those and I will catch you all in the next one. Continue to embrace the darkness and bye bye.